After the Fukushima meltdown, the Japanese government faced significant pressure to shut down all of the country's nuclear reactors. Japan has always been uneasy about nuclear power. And there is an alternative, a renewable source of energy that's readily accessible in Japan, but no one's harnessing it. Isabel Jung went to find out why. The Japanese use a lot of energy, but they have a problem. Without nuclear power, the country currently gets almost 87% of its energy needs from expensive and polluting fossil fuels. Though it has another clean option lurking deep underground, geothermals. What is geothermal energy? And how much geothermal energy does Japan have? And Japan is in quite a unique position, isn't it, location-wise, in terms of how much geothermal energy it has compared to other countries and other nations? Yes. With nearly 200 volcanoes, Japan has one of the largest geothermal reserves in the world. If this naturally occurring heat were to be harnessed and converted into power, it could generate 10% of Japan's energy needs right away. So, what's stopping Japan from harnessing this energy? This is an onsen, or hot spring spa. These are cultural institutions in Japan that have been around for more than a thousand years. They draw their hot water from pools underground that are geothermally heated by molten rock. Oh, it's nice. How many Japanese people enjoy onsen? Just in general. Today, there are more than 3,000 onsens across the country, which service 120 million people every year. That's the entire population of Japan. And the owners are not eager to share their spas. Masa Oyama is the chairman of the Japan Spa Association, a powerful collective of spa owners who lobby for the $26 billion industry. In order to harness geothermal energy, companies would need to access and share the exact same hot springs deep underground that are protected by the Japan Spa Association. Oyama and his colleagues are refusing. But so far, scientists have not found any evidence to support Mr. Oyama's claims. Do you think that any of their concerns are at all founded? Luckily, there are a few onsen owners who seem open to the idea of sharing their springs. You share the profits from both the geothermal plant and from the energy and from the onsen? With Japan in an energy crisis, the hope is that these few owners willing to give it a try will sway the rest of the spa industry before it gets any worse. According to Professor Ahara, with a pastime as iconic and beloved as the onsen, the only hope geothermals have in Japan is to tread very carefully. Do you think that all this opposition is somewhat ridiculous in your opinion? Do you like going to onsen? Yes. 